June 22nd in front of the 220 mixed American cichlid tank and everyone seems to be doing well I do have a new buddy also known as a sleeper goby and he's got the spotlight today showing some really nice coloring now so I'm super stoked for the future with this little one I do have a couple African clawed frogs three to be exact one regular two albino I'm not sure if I can find them right now but it's a little we got a little cloudiness going on which is expected with an 80 percent water change but it's also time to clean the filter which is the cascade 1500 canister filter by pen plaques so I'll be doing that later on today figured I'd give you a little bit of update on what's going on finally have the rescape which I have a little footage of that prior to now and here we are that. after a rescape on the 220 placos are out leopard sailfin placo Florida armored catfish placo chocolate albino and then there's another little one in here also but everybody seems to be feeling better after their bacterial and fungal outbreaks and an 80% water change and rescape yesterday otherwise about to head up to my local pet store which is where I'm currently employed to pick up some cherry shrimp and a mono shrimp that I've been waiting on for about 10 other than that not much has changed I do have plans um, they've changed a little bit because of my wife's pregnancy and her sleeping patterns and stuff like that I don't want to interrupt her or burden anyone else in the house so I kind of do it at that discretion of others and this guy's looking good and coloring up nicely this one always is this one's the boss and I do have new haps in here this one um, a couple more. This guy is supposed to be a hat, but I guess we won't know until they get a little bigger. There's another one there. Six haps all together. And that one, that one, and then I think an eye biter in here somewhere, which is back there hiding. I think they call that the Malawi eye biter. But let me know down in the comments below and let me know which one you like. Leave me a little bit of feedback and I'll keep you updated on any changes. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the sump under this because I have the new one I need to install. But I also want to set up the 40 breeder over there for a quarantine system and a recovery slash hospital tank for anyone who gets beat up because as of right now they're going down in the sump my german blue is down there and i haven't seen him in a week so i really need to get down there and make sure he's still kicking i've been feeding him shrimp pellets but other than that nothing in particular or in specifically and this tank will be moved either today or tomorrow. I'm super psyched about it, but at the same time, I'm not happy about it because we haven't had to go without an aquarium in our room for over 10 years. So I think I'm going to build a corner shelf up there. Corner shelf over here so I can install a little beta tank.
uh, somewhere in this area, maybe a four gallon or a little nano tank with a beta, a few plants, a, a small light maybe, I don't know. And I'm not very experienced in beta, so tell me what kind of beta that you like down in the comments below. Otherwise, have a little uh, internal filter that has a uh, fountain type thing or overflow so it kind of makes water noise because we can hear this tank at night time. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. It's good to talk to all of you. Leave me comments. Be engaged. I love to be engaged with my audience and talk to you, hear from you, and I respect you, everyone's opinions. I appreciate all the feedback in my past videos over the past few years. It's just awesome. And I never thought that it would become anything. I thought I was just a silly guy putting uh, videos on the internet of my fish and tanks, and then it became so much more, which I may not have that many subscribers because I'm with that. YouTube's algorithms. I'm not as regular as people that post daily vlogs or two to three videos a week. So it's hard for me to keep keep up with that and work a full-time job, side jobs and everything. At the end of the day, it's all about my family and my fish. Money is not my number one priority. I make sure I pay bills, but that is an afterthought. So with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys next week or the week after hopefully this week peace